What I want you to really think about is what makes a circle a circle. And what the distinguishing feature from a circle from a different shape would be that the distance between the center of a circle and the outside, we'll call that the circumference, is always the same. So the center of the circle is equidistant to any point on the circumference. So it means they're always the same distance apart. Now, we can use that fact together with the distance formula that you've already learned in the line. If you don't know how to find the distance between two points, check out the line series, but I'm gonna refresh it here for you. The distance between two points is the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So that would be the distance between two points with coordinates x1, y1, x2, y2. And that's just an application of Pythagoras' theorem. So imagine we had a circle with center, say for example, the center would be four minus two. So I'm gonna put a red spot here at four minus two, and that's the center of the circle. Now imagine that circle has a radius of four, for example. So the way I like to draw them is to put a spotty above, below, to the left, and to the right. Now I'm always marking a distance of four away from my center because the radius is four, right? So above, below, left, and right. And that just gives me four spots to join up to roughly join together to get my sketch. Now in this circle, we know that every point needs to be a distance of four away from the center. So we know that radius would be four. We know the center is four minus two. So what would the equation be? Well, we can call every point on the circumference, like a general, we can call that x, y. So what we would do in this, is, uh, in this instance is we would say, the distance has to be four, right? Because that's the radius. And it would be the square root of x, take away four, squared plus y, take away minus two, so a double minus, which would make plus, so y plus two squared. And if you square both sides to remove the square root, that would give you the equation for the circle. So all the equation of the circle is, is the distance formula. We take the distance to be radius and we always make one point on the outside of the circle, on the circumference of the circle. We just call it x, y. x, y just represents any point here on the circumference. And we take the x1, y1, to be the center of the circle. So we substitute in, in this instance, the four and the minus two. And that's it. That's where the equation of the circle comes from. It comes from the property that the distance from the center to any point on the outside, any point you would like to take is always gonna be four. So we can expand this idea to a general formula, right? So we know the distance we're always gonna take is radius. And you generally speaking, when working with circles, you call the center h comma k. So in our previous example, h would be four and k would be minus two. So we can put those into the distance formula. And we can square both sides. And that's our equation for a circle. We're gonna be looking in the first key skill how you can use this equation to determine what the center is of a circle and what the radius is. So stick around for that and I'll see you in our first key skill.